Hello everyone, it is me, Passionate Kelsey, and I'm here to welcome you to another very passionate vlog. <laughs> Guys, I'm I'm thinking of doing something crazy. Okay, so whenever you're shopping on Joann's, right? Um, some of the things have bulk pricing. So if you buy a ton of them, then you get them for a lower price. Usually it's a crazy number, right? I was out with my mom the other day and I was talking about yarn and like buying yarn and whatever. And she was like, have you, can you get like a, I don't know what it's called. Basically like the price that like stores buy them at, you know, something, I don't know. But I was like, I mean, maybe I could, but you have to buy them in such high numbers that I would have nowhere to put them in this big old room, right? I was just looking, okay, I was just looking at some Juicy Couture velvet yarn and, okay, normally they're $9.99, right? That's full price. Right now, they're on sale for $7.49, so I was like, maybe I should pick some up. But then I was looking at the bulk pricing and the bulk pricing is $2.86 per skein. That's so low. The thing is, um, I would have to buy 60 of them. But also the thing is, that's only $184. Hello? <laughs> oh no. Okay, okay, to be fair, okay, look. I just did my how much yarn can I use in one month video. And in one month, last month, I used 17 skeins of the Juicy Couture yarn, right? That's including all of the other yarns that I used as well. I had 45 skeins in total and 17 of those were Juicy Couture. So like, oh my God, oh my God. 60, let's, let's like throw it up to 20. I could go through that, hypothetically, in three months. 20, 40, 60. 20 per month? No. No, I can't, no. Does it have to be the same color? Because right now, I have 60 of them in my cart, and the bulk pricing is applied so that they're $2.86 a piece. But what if I bought like 20, three 20s of different colors? Would that work? Let me, let's find out. Let's find out if that will work. I just like, I don't, I, I wanna jump on that because the bulk pricing being 286 and whenever they're usually 999, that is so, so low because I mean, that's, it's $7 off, yeah? Cause I was just looking at Bernat Crushed Velvet or Bernat Velvet, you know, they're usually 1199. Right now they're on sale for 899. And if you look at the bulk pricing, they're 699 a piece. But $6.99 compared to $8.99 is what they're currently on sale for. That's only $2. And then if you do $11.99, that's $5, which is good. That's nice for sure. Oh, and the bulk pricing, you only have to buy 24 of these to get that instead of 60. What's bulk pricing on Lily Sugar and Cream? No, okay, okay. First, first we're gonna check and see if I can buy 20 of three different colors to get the 60 and if it will still apply the bulk pricing discount. So let's find out about that. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this, but at the same time, it's kind of like buying yarn in bulk would be smarter in the long run, as far as pricing goes. I was talking about it because like, this is something that I would want to do if I ever had a bigger living space you know, because like, let's say I had a huge walk-in closet and I could easily store a lot of yarn. I don't think it would be a problem. Okay, so it looks like you have to buy the bulk amount of one color. You can't split it up into different colors. So that's fair. So I'm gonna have to buy 60 of the Juicy Couture yarn, which I mean, they're, they're not that big, okay. Well, uh, they're not, they're small compared to Bernat Velvet, which is what I'm, thinking, comparing them to in my mind. I guess they're not tiny either, like Lily Sugar and Cream. Speaking of Lily Sugar and Cream, how much do we need to buy to get bulk pricing on that? And what is the bulk pricing? 
So Lily Sugar and Cream is normally $4.49. If you buy bulk pricing, then it is $2.52 a piece. So that is down a little bit less than $2. But you have to buy 72 of them. That's crazy, right? There's like, I, I just, I can't buy 72 of one color. That's only 12 more than I'm buying of the juicy yarn. Oh my gosh. I'm crazy. I'm going crazy. Can you buy bulk in the cones? How many do you have to buy for those? Oh, mm. The cones are usually $15.99. They're on sale currently for $11.99. They're on sale like very, very often, right? The sale price is pretty much like, I buy them when they're on sale all the time. They're on sale a lot for $11.99. I only buy them at $15.99 if I like desperately need a color right away. Then I have to put in an order, but generally I'll wait until they're on sale. So the bulk pricing being $9.87 compared to the sale price, which is $11.99, that's only like $2 off, right? Compared to the sale price, which is $15.99, that's about $6 off, which, I mean, like, that's pretty good, I guess. But the nice thing, I think, is that you only have to buy 12 for it to be counted as bulk pricing. And I don't think 12 is a lot. Like, I have more than 12 cones in this room for sure. It Honestly, it would probably be a smart move if I would buy, like, the basic colors like let's say black and white and gray Ugh. Ugh. what do i do some things don't have bulk pricing i wanted to look at the different colors of lily sugar and cream so this would be under lily sugar and cream ombres and then this has like moon dance it has coral haze it has you know psychedelic but you can't buy those colors in bulk apparently so that's sad. Am I going crazy? Yes. Is it smart? Also yes. I wonder how fast it would get here, honestly, if I bought a bulk order. So as many of you guys mentioned in my last vlog, Joann's ships from their stores, which is why a lot of the times you get your orders in like a bunch of separate bags but i wonder if you buy it with the bulk amount and the bulk pricing i wonder if it comes like directly from the manufacturer instead just a thought just a question because i <laughs> i'm wondering if i am gonna order 60 of this juicy couture yarn am i gonna get like six packages of 10 20 packages of five i guess we'll find out because we're gonna do it we're gonna let's yeah okay um yes okay so <laughs> wow 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 i am ordering 60 skeins of juicy couture velvet yarn in the color pastel lilac it's a great color gotta say maybe i should order pink but that's just the first one i clicked on and then i am also adding a bulk order of the lily sugar and cream cones in the color black and for a bulk order you only need 12 so like no big deal. So the cones, the bulk pricing, $9.87. Okay. And if you remember in my other vlog where we made as many tops as we could out of one cone, we got three and a half tops. So three and a half tops for $9.87. Great deal. And then, like I said before, the Juicy Couture yarn is $2.86 per skein. One skein can give me three and a half scrunchies. The scrunchies are sold for $3.50 a piece. So like the cost, $2.86, that's, I mean, that's one scrunchie. So. <laughs> I'm so nervous, okay. Guys, we earned free shipping because it's over $75, wow. The order total for the Juicy Couture, it's 171. For the Lily Sugar and Cream, it's 118. The total is 290. The taxes are 17.40, so our total is 307 dollars and 44 cents. Let's do it. I was not planning on doing this today. I've looked at it before. Honestly, it's probably because I, I actually added it to my cart today and I saw how much it cost and I was like, oh, that's actually not bad because before I was just 
being like, I have to buy 60 of them, that's crazy. And then I would just move on. But I've convinced myself, I guess. Order's placed. I feel like it's not gonna get here fast, but who knows, who knows? Back to the main agenda. We have some things to do other than buying hundreds of dollars of yarn, okay. We have orders to make. I have 11 open orders. We should definitely try to do them in order because I feel like that's always the best choice. The first one that we have to make is going to be continuing working on this blue and purple cardigan that we started. Here's how much work we've got done on it. I'm working on both sides at the same time. Honestly, I think that this only needs a few more rows and then we will have to lengthen the sleeve down to the cuff and it's a cropped cardigan so we won't have to add any length to the bottom and it should be done if i put in the work we can finish it today that depends on if i'm gonna put in the work or not so let's get started the main reason that i haven't been working on it is because i haven't been spending like a ton of time in my office mainly it's because like caesar gets here and then i want to go out of my office and spend time with him and usually on smaller projects, not multicolor projects, I can take it with me and go sit on the couch and work on it and like, but this one, since there is so many colors, it's hard to lug around. So it's just been on my desk. You guys told me I should definitely not use these maroon colors and that's fair, that's fair. We won't use them. Okay, I've got lots of colors out over here taking measurements i think we only need a few more rows like three or four until we reach the right measurements so let's do that there we go we've got one side connected Gotta do uh, three rows, connect this one. I'll do that in a minute though, it's lunchtime, so we're gonna take a little break. Grilled cheese soup combo. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Why are you saying it like that? <laughs> Grilled cheese soup combo. Yeah, that's what I got. Can I throw this roll at you? No, oh. no, back to work. I got the length in on the sleeves here. I'm just gonna add cuffs. We'll connect them in the back, do the border, and then we'll be done. I think we can do it today, so that's good. Plus the sun is still up right now, like, hello. We're done. I got all my ends weaved. Everything, everything is done up. Nice. Here's our cuffs. I did three rows of single crochet on the border and it's looking good. So first order done. The next order on the list is for Megan and it is a black peekaboo top in medium and I actually already started it. So I think this can also be done today. We just gotta do a couple more rows on the bottom, do the outline and the straps, and we'll call it good. I finished our top, got our order done. It is now um, almost nine o'clock, 8.45-ish. So I'm gonna spend the rest of my night working on scrunchies casually and watching TV. Hello, hello. Last night I did accomplish quite a few scrunchies, okay? I made all four of these mint ones. I made four of these potent purple ones, and then I made five of these in the center, the burgundy ones, so. All of them, except for the potent purple, because I just took photos and listed those this morning, all of them sold out already. I need to put up more mystery scrunchies. I don't know why. I don't know why they're still here. But our plans for today, right now, currently, uh, it's 12. We're about to go to lunch, grab some food, and then we gotta go grocery shopping, get the dog some food. And after that, we will continue working on orders. 
at this moment in time I think I'm, I'm just gonna pack like some really quick orders such as the scrunchies or maybe a, a bandana or two just while Caesar is getting ready before we go out to lunch because while we're out I do want to stop by a mailbox so <coughs> sir and we have 17 open orders so let's just bring that number down a bit yeah there is two mint velvet scrunchies for Victoria We have two burgundy scrunchies for Lindsay. We have one bandana for Jamie. We have one bandana for Megan. We have a pink hair bandana for Amy. Off we go. Are they rolling up my sandwich that we're eating? All right, home. We're home now. Yay. Can, can you, okay. We packed orders before we left. We got orders while we were gone. What I'm looking at on my screen is we have 15 open orders. Okay, so the first one is that custom cardigan that we finished. It's sitting over here on my desk waiting to be packed. Next on the list is the custom black peekaboo top. That's also finished, sitting on my desk waiting to be packed. Next in line is a custom sneak a peek top that we need to make. So it's gonna be made in brown. So we'll get our brown cone out. Let's open up the pattern. We are making a extra extra large, warm brown, sneak a peek top. Let's do it. I will be watching Zaddy's new vlog. Oh, okay. Oh, this this thing. Many people have seen me do this while I'm making the sneak peek tops. Many people have asked why I'm doing it and uh, why it's not in my tutorial or my pattern. And that's because I started doing this after I wrote the pattern and the tutorial. But basically, it's just a little bit of extra yarn that I will use later on when I'm making the border on the top. So if I remember once we get there, I'll show you what I'm doing with it exactly. I mean, it's not super necessary. Sorry. I'm not feeling it that I'm not really gonna enjoy the design and I'm not really gonna wanna put in my best efforts, you know? We're making good, good, good progress, okay? This is, I don't, it's not halfway. It's halfway on the top portion, but not the bodice. But anyway, I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna take my dogs out. Um, have a little snacky snack and then we'll continue working. I've been drinking these um, Activia yogurt drinks, whatever. You know, probiotic, Jamie Lee Curtis. Good for your gut health. I bought it because I'm trying to be a healthy adult. But in reality, it just, it makes me feel like I'm having the animals again. They taste pretty good. Okay, back to work. I'm going to probably listen to podcasts thinking murder mystery today. This part is done. We just gotta do the few rows for the bottom. Outline, straps, should be done quick. Okay, so for our little side piece thingy over here, right? On this side, I just did what I'm gonna do on the other side, which is I did this row right across the side here, which is all half double crochets. And I added three little holes, if you can see, right here at this corner, right here in the center has one, and then right here at this corner. And I just added this so that it's easier when I want to go through and lace up the top. This part is still connected to the yarn ball. It will continue going around to add on the 
single crochet border and the straps, but I need to do the same thing to the other side. So that is why I have left yarn over from the beginning so that I can do that row of half double crochets and add the three holes to lace up the straps later. Does that make sense? Hopefully. But we're almost done. Everybody's loved no, one, but, but that's if you're bullshit. but if you're going to, that's bullshit. <laughs> it's not it's not in the thousand. Alright guys, it's done. We did it. That is one more order finished. I want to make another one for today. The next item that we have on our list is a custom peekaboo top in the color pink and it's extra small so it shouldn't be a hassle at all really. First I'm going to lint roll this and I'm going to fold it up and I'm going to add it to my growing pile of orders that need to be packed. While we were making that we got, it was either two or three more orders because now we have 17. Two of them were scrunchies and one of them was a top. Let's grab our rose pink so we can get started on this top. Okay, here we go. Ta -da. So in my last vlog, I was talking about how it was messy and I was a little scattered and stuff like that. I didn't even really notice it, but so many of the comments were telling me like, it's okay, feel better. And I appreciate that, but I just want to let you know, I'm fine. I'm totally fine. It was honestly just the fact that I was working on that blue and purple cardigan and I had pulled out so many blue and purple skeins of yarn that my desk over here was covered and then also that desk over there was covered. So I just, I didn't have any space to work in. So really just as soon as I finished that project and I put all of those things away so they were no longer out on my tables, like I'm, I'm fine. We're back to normal, we're flowing, we're getting orders done and packed and shipped. So just know that I'm good and thank you. <laughs> right now it's six o'clock. I'm thinking since this is a top, it might be probably the last order that we work on tonight as far as like what's on the list. I think we'll definitely finish it tonight, hopefully, if I'm, you know, correct in my assumption that I'm amazing. The next order that we have is another sneak peek top. So I think that this one will be my last official order that I make for the rest of the night. I wanna finish it and get it done and set it aside. And then after that, I will probably just relax, watch TV and make a couple scrunchies because I have been making a lot of scrunchies, but they always sell out so, so fast. I mean, as you saw, I made a bunch of scrunchies last night and they're gone. The mystery scrunchies that I listed earlier, those are gone too. That's so fun, that's so great, makes me happy. I wish I could keep things stocked, but boy, am I happy to see them go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, all right, let me just, I'm gonna work on this, okay? All right. This is done. Well, okay, I gotta weave this in, but it's done, I promise didn't take too long but I also had some dinner and it's 9 30 now so like I said I'm gonna spend the rest of the night making scrunchies and I'll see you around hi guys it's tomorrow guess what I got an email this morning that half of our order was on the way and the half that's on the way is the 60 of the Juicy Couture yarn. <laughs> so, yeah. Now it's getting a little bit real. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine though. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna make some crunchies today. Maybe try to make some room. I don't know how quickly it'll get here. It says it's shipped, but sometimes they take like a week or more to get here after they've shipped. Anyway. We're gonna start the day by packing some orders because I just want to. Here's how my desk is looking. Okay, all of these scrunchies are sold. We have two tops here that are ready. 
three tops right here that are ready and a cardigan. And then I think we also have some bandanas probably. So, oh, I wanna get it done because we actually have lunch plans with my grandma today. So I would like to get them packed so that we can take them on our lunch and drop them off at the post office. First, we have our custom cardigan for Nadine. We're gonna see if I can recycle this box. Next, we have a medium black peekaboo top for Megan. Next, we have our brown sneaky peek top for Jessica. Next, we have our pink peek boob top for Sasha. Next, we've got a rainbow bandana for Addie. We've got a sage green lily top for Jamie. We have mystery scrunchies for Levi. We have an Ace Pride Valerie top for Caitlin. We have two potent purple scrunchies for Amy. Two potent purple scrunchies for Thurza. Lastly, we have two red sparkle scrunchies, two burgundy scrunchies, and two angel scrunchies for Miriam. Michaels because I was looking for some green velvet yarn because somebody had requested a green scrunchie and apparently I don't have any green. Green is kind of hard to come by honestly. Anyway they didn't have any green. Michaels doesn't really have velvet yarn in general. I thought like maybe they would have their premiere but they didn't. I ordered some online. I checked the Joann's stock first online to see if they had any but they didn't. I just thought we would stop by, but of course I got some yarn while we were there. So <laughs> let's see what it is. I bought some of this Loops and Threads Carousel Twist Acrylic Yarn. I bought this because 
okay it was it was on an end cap it was on sale for like five dollars a piece i couldn't help myself and it's it's pretty okay i really like bulky five acrylic yarn it's squishy it feels good and the colors are great and it was on sale so don't be mad at me look at it it is white yarn and it has blues and greens running through it they're like twisted in the color is called sailor i think very nice this is going to be perfect for hats or scarves love it i wanted to buy more of them if i was alone i would have this one the color is called posy same concept white with other colors running through it this one is pink and purple and blues very pretty i like it a lot this is adding to my ever growing yarn problem because i will not use these right away i mean like maybe i should but i gotta work on my orders first so these will be put on the back burner unfortunately but they're so pretty look at them i just i couldn't i couldn't leave them there alone <sighs> well yep <laughs> anyway you're not gonna want to hear this but this is where we're gonna have to end this vlog okay i got other things to do i got people to see i got orders to make and you're not gonna miss anything i'll put all that in the next vlog so make sure you come back give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you want more content from me and i'll see you guys next time bye